Jason asked, what is the most significant thing you've changed your mind on with respect to cryptocurrencies in the last five years? You know, that's a that's a very interesting uh, question, Jason. And I was I was kind of digging in my memory and trying to remember um, various things that I might have changed my mind on. I think first of all, um, I try not to take uh, firm uh, positions with certainty uh, on issues regarding cryptocurrency or make predictions about the future with uh, absolute certainty. I think absolute certainty is um, is the behavior of a fool, really, especially in a technology like this that is moving so fast and where changes are happening in, in highly unanticipated ways. I think it takes a lot of um, how do I put this? You have to be quite selfish to believe that, or quite arrogant to believe that you can make um, firm predictions or have opinions with certainty in an area that is so vast and complex. So I try to be flexible. Um, I try to realize that there is more that I don't know about this space than I do know, and um, I'm always willing to change my mind. And I've often been wrong about things. I thought that uh, fees were going to be um, low or near free forever. I didn't anticipate that we'd see as much centralization in the chip manufacturing side of, of mining. I was a bit surprised by that. I also thought that um, that Bitcoin uh, and other cryptocurrencies could be attacked more readily, which uh, was certainly a fear back when. When MTGOX collapsed, it was the first time that I felt, oh, this could be it. This could be the end of Bitcoin. Um, we'll have to we'll have to start over. We'll have to reboot it and start again. This could this could really kill Bitcoin. I mean, keep in mind, at the time, it was really the only exchange that represented 80% of the volume, and it went down in such a spectacular way. Um, so that time, I was scared. Ironically, I'm not so easily scared anymore. I think I had underestimated how resilient this technology is, and how strong it is, and how hard it is to take it down. I also underestimated um, how fragmented the community could get, uh, how much uh, trolling and bitterness and uh, personal vendettas and things like that and egos um, could become in this space. The, the debate really surprised me with the amount of bitterness and vitriol and passion behind it. And so you know, now, now I think I'm a bit wiser. Anytime you have large amounts of money, I think the inevitable trajectory of any cryptocurrency community is eventually you will arrive at a point of controversy that is big enough um, with stakes that are high enough that emotions will get very very heated and some people do not act in good faith some people will will um, act in self-interest i also believe that that's one of the ways that outsiders have tried to attack this system by attacking the community and creating drama on purpose it's a classic um, technique used against grassroots movement Evander asks, if you were to make one change to Bitcoin, what would it be and why? Uh, well, if I were to make one change to Bitcoin, I would get downvoted by consensus, because um, no one gets to make changes to Bitcoin. Um, but I think that what I'd like to see is more uh, implementation of privacy features. But I think these changes are already happening. Um, so I don't really think there's. I don't really think there's anything that I would uh, change in Bitcoin from the original design. I think it would be hubris to think I can do it better. Um, every every month, every week, almost somebody comes along with, "Hey, I'm new to Bitcoin. I just found out about it, and I already have ideas on how to make it better." So I created. Xcoin, and Xcoin is the next Bitcoin. 
You know what? There's been a next Bitcoin every year since the beginning of Bitcoin, and Bitcoin's still the next Bitcoin. And there's a reason for that. The particular set of uh, building blocks and careful uh, design choices that were in Bitcoin happened to be uh, just right for the level of adoption and development and security that we have with Bitcoin. And uh, trying to improve on that is a fool's game, I think. There are many experts who are suggesting some I think interesting and relevant improvements, primarily in the area of privacy, which is an area that definitely can be improved. Um, but when people tell you that Bitcoin's uh, broken or it's got fatal problems or design issues or it's soon going to be superseded by this next technology, um, I would be very skeptical when I hear those kinds of things. Yes, other coins may exceed Bitcoin in market cap. Having more money to throw at something doesn't make it better. Um, the banks can make a coin that has more market cap than Bitcoin. Of course they can. Money is the one thing they have. Um, but can you make something that's more secure? Can you make something that's more decentralized? Can you make something that's more autonomous? Can you make something that is more censorship resistant? Uh, better for the things that Bitcoin is good at, and I don't think we can. Um, and if we can, we can do those things mostly with Bitcoin because it's already got a very good basis for doing those things. Mm -hmm.